the narcissist's favourite word. This is a word that they will use when they are in a very bad situation. Where their options and ability to act are limited and constrained. When they have no way out. It defines how the relationship functions within the world that they have created for you. You might have heard them say this word before. Or maybe they just implied it. In every interaction or conversation you have with them, you will feel like this is what they're thinking of you. Especially when there's an argument or disagreement. This is a word that they are deeply afraid of. They don't want anyone to see them in this way. Which is why they will be so quick to use this word against you. Because deep down they know that what they do falls under the word's definition. The narcissist's favourite word is crazy. They may call you crazy or they will call someone else crazy. It's something they will use in a hopeless situation when they feel vulnerable or at risk of being exposed. When they feel like something undesirable will occur. When you question or confront the narcissist on something they've said or done, something that they know is not good, something that they know would make them look bad, they have to imply that you are crazy. And they may even say that you are. Whenever they feel like they're being confronted on something, it has to be because someone is mentally ill or mentally unstable. It has to be because someone is having a nervous breakdown. There has to be something wrong with them. Of course, they don't really believe that. They just use it to explain and justify everything they've done to you. And they won't always say that word. They might just imply it. Or they might call you a narcissist or a psychopath. They will use it whenever it suits them. Whenever they feel like they are under attack. Whenever they feel like they are at fault. But when you are doing whatever they want you to do. When you are validating their false self and the illusion that they are trying, portray, trying to portray. They won't call you crazy then. And they won't imply it as much. Because you are going along with their agenda. The narcissist's favourite word is crazy. They always want to make you feel like you're crazy for questioning or confronting them. You're crazy for doubting them. You're crazy for having a different opinion or perspective, a different idea or preference. Even if they don't actually say the word, they always imply it. They indicate it by suggestion, if not by explicit reference. If they're in a bad situation and they don't have any ways out. If they feel trapped or cornered. 
they will suggest that you are crazy regardless of whatever logical conversation you are trying to have with them regardless of the facts they have to stay in denial to protect themselves it's a defense mechanism they refuse to acknowledge an unacceptable truth or emotion they refuse to admit it into consciousness because they don't want to deal with the shame they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions so they try to shift the blame onto you they try to make you think there's something wrong with you When there's a problem or difficulty, they see it as though someone has to be to blame. Someone caused this event to take place. Someone is responsible. And they may be fully aware that they are the cause of it. But rather than taking responsibility for their actions. They will imply that you are crazy. Because it's either you or them. And they don't care about the truth or reality of the situation. All they care about is their feelings. And they don't want to deal with the feelings that come along with accepting that they are at fault. This is something that every narcissist will do. They won't always come out and say it, but they will always imply it. They will always imply that you are crazy. They will always imply that something is wrong with you because you have a different opinion or perspective. You have an idea or preference that is unfavorable to them. They want you to feel like who you are as a person is bad or wrong. They want to deny or invalidate your qualities, beliefs, personality or appearance. They want to destroy your self-image, self-esteem and individuality. Whatever makes you feel like who you are. Whatever makes you feel like you belong somewhere. That's where they're going to target. Because that's how they're going to control you. When they are applying that you are crazy. It's not always something they're doing consciously. It can often be instinctual. It can be a part of a fixed pattern of behavior. It's a survival mechanism. It's something they do automatically in order to survive a dangerous or unpleasant situation. The narcissist has to see it as though you're crazy. Something is wrong with everyone else all of the time. This is how narcissists feel. There's something wrong with everything in the world. Be 
because they expect everything to cater to them. Everything has to work around them. Everything has to be what they want it to be. So that they can be happy. But they never get what they want. Because it's unreasonable. It's beyond the limits of acceptability and fairness. Because it's always something that you have to do. You always have to make them happy. To make things perfect. It's like if only they had that one thing they're missing. Then suddenly everything would be great. But they never have what they want. They never get it. So that's why they're unhappy. That's why there's always a problem. And the problem is something that they're going to take advantage of to get attention, to get supply. And while the problem could be a fault or mistake that you have made, they can also create the problem. Or they can push and provoke you until you produce the problem. So they're behind all of it. They're the cause of it, but they're not responsible for it. That is the most favorable position for them to be in, where they can be behind the scenes, causing all of this chaos and destruction without taking responsibility for any of it. They create a problem that makes their process easier. It makes something more likely to happen. Which then facilitates whatever they want to believe. And validates their illusion. But no one can see that they are behind it. No one can see that they are responsible. So in their minds, they're not responsible for it. And then it just continues and sustains itself for as long as they need it to, which is usually until one of you dies. The question is, why is the narcissist so quick to call you crazy? Why are they so quick to imply something like that about you? And the reason for that is because that's what they fear the most. They fear being called crazy. They fear being seen as strange or foolish. Because that's exactly what they are. They are crazy.
and at some level they are aware of it. But they're trying to battle it out with you. They have to see it as though whatever behaviour they engaged in or whatever emotions they feel it's the result or effect of something that you're doing. You are the cause of it. It's something that you are responsible for and you are supposed to fix it. Because in their minds, they don't have any control over it. They can't make a choice or decision about it. They think it's your problem. They think it's your responsibility. Which is why they will do whatever it takes to make you feel responsible. They have these feelings that they choose not to deal with. They express it in a way where you are forced to feel like it belongs to you. Where you are forced to feel like you are responsible for it. And you accept it. You take responsibility for it. Which then takes the weight off of their shoulders. And then you are left to resolve it. It becomes your problem. Which really is the definition of crazy. And deep down they know this. They know that they are the ones who are mentally and emotionally unstable. But they will push and provoke you until you begin to feel that way. So that it relieves those feelings within themselves. Because when you accept what they're throwing at you, it relieves them of the burden. It relieves them off their troubles and worries. All they're really doing is dodge a responsibility for their actions. They're trying to avoid reflecting on their emotions. And they're looking for an escape. They're looking for a distraction from their miserable reality. They're looking for a distraction from how they really feel about themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsviva.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.